Money, Power, and Monetary Regimes by Pavlina Cherneva Ancient Egypt In Egypt, as in Mesopotamia, money emerged from the necessity of the ruling class to maintain accounts of agricultural crops and accumulated surpluses, but it also served as a means of accounting for payment of levies, foreign tribute, and tribal obligations to the kings and priests. Footnote 4. Henry, 2004, further adds that money cannot exist without power and authority. Societies based on hospitality and exchange simply had no use for it, while in a strat stratified society, the ruling class is compelled to devise standard units of account which measure not only the economic surplus collected in the form of taxes, but also the royal gifts and religious dues that were imposed on the underlying population. Henry, 2004, argues that before societies were able to produce surplus, they had no use for money. Indeed, a substantial transformation of social relations from egalitarian tribal society to one that is stratified and hierarchical was in needed before money emerged. Once agricultural developments generated economic surplus, taxation was used by authorities as a method of transferring part of that surplus, the real resources, from the population to the palaces. The central authority, the king, levied taxes on the population and determined how they could be settled by establishing the unit of account used in denominate, to denominate all debts to the state. One of, these account, one of these units of account in the Old Kingdom was the Daven, but no Davins ever changed hands. It was a purely virtual and abstract measure for standardizing weights and prices, much like in the Mesopotamian palaces, though many different things represented one Daven, wheat, copper, labor, etc. That is, once the unit of account was established, Many things measured in Davins started circulating as means of payment. Graeber, 2011, makes a compelling case that indeed, for most of human history, money has been virtual. Today, the dollar is also an abstract unit of measure, and there are many things that answer to the name dollar, notes, coins, and mostly electronic digits. Keynes also recognized that money is first and foremost a virtual state-administered unit of account, where the state has also been able to determine its physical form for at least 4,000 years. The state, therefore, comes in first of all as the authority of law, which enforces the payment of the thing which corresponds to the name or description in the contract. But it, but it comes doubly when, in addition, it claims the right to determine and declare what thing corresponds to the name. This right is claimed by all modern states and has been so claimed for some 4,000 years at least. Today, all civilized money is, beyond the possibility of dispute, charterless. Keynes, 1930.